Gundam Seed Destiny, Rainbow vs. F2 Plus, is a PS2 port of a well-liked arcade fighting game, Rainbow vs. F2. Despite being released in 2006 and essentially shaping the further development of the Gundam vs. franchise, this game was released only in Japan. However, thanks to the glory of emulation, you can easily get a copy nowadays. As one of my earlier sentences had implied, the game is almost entirely in Japanese. This video is a result of my efforts to translate most of the essential parts of the game to save you some time, since there's no English patch for it that I'm aware of. Disclaimer. I have very surface level understanding of the Japanese language and I've used the Gundam Wiki as well as the community made guides and Google Translate to fill in the gaps. Therefore, I am responsible for any mistakes made during the translation. Should you spot a mistake, please let me know. That said, let's start. One thing to note is that the menu navigation is done entirely via the D-pad, using the circle to confirm and cross to go back. The game's main menu consists of Versus Mode, Arcade, Plus, Challenges, Gallery, Options, Versus Mode. The Versus Mode is where you set up battles. You are provided with four slots, two of which can be used by players. You can also add CPU opponents with an option to have their units at half of their cost. Quick note, if you're not familiar with the main mechanics of Gundam vs games, both teams have a large gauge of sorts that works as the team's health bar. It is called the battle gauge. Unit cost represents the amount of points that will be subtracted from the battle gauge when the unit is destroyed. In the select screen, you can adjust the level of a mobile suit, free being the default. This modifies some stats should you want to give yourself an advantage or a disadvantage. The type option is where you pick the type of an activatable power-up, which I will cover in a later video. In the next two tabs, you can pick a pilot, which is purely cosmetic, and a mobile suit. I've taken my time to translate both rosters and I've put it here for your convenience. By the way, you can name your character if you pick an unnamed pilot. The letters are in katakana, uh, but you can easily find a chart for, uh, for that on Google Images. The player tab is used for choosing whether the unit is controlled by you or the AI. As I said earlier, you have the option to set the AI to half cost. And last but not least, the team tab is used to pick whether the slot belongs to team A, B or just remains empty. After setting all that up and pressing start to commence, you are given another screen. This time, the options are Map select, Music select, Time, which is in seconds, Battle gauge for each team, Damage level for each team, Boost gauge for each team, Awaken gauge duration, which determines how long the power-up lasts. And lastly, Awaken gauge fill rate, which is self-explanatory. Tap start again to start a match in versus mode or tap cross to go back. After the match, you get the option to either play again, go to the select screen, or return to the main menu. Oh, and there's also a command system that I'll address in a later video, so for the time being, have this screenshot instead. Arcade mode. In arcade mode, you have the option to choose one out of nine routes, some of which have to be unlocked by playing any arcade route for a few times. Each route has nine stages, with the gameplay being a bit similar to the versus games. After picking a route, you'll have to pick a pilot and a mobile suit in the same way you'd select one in the versus mode. Plus mode. Plus mode is a quasi story mode. It's pretty fun, but gets grindy after a certain point. When you select it in the menu, the top option means new game, while the second one lets you continue using a previous save. Since I'd have to start a new game and spend many more hours on the flavor text and so, I haven't translated this game mode. Challenges! The challenge mode is more or less a single stage arcade mode with a single objective of destroying a certain number of enemies. Doing the challenges gives you pictures for the gallery mode. Gallery! The gallery contains the various things you unlocked by playing, including pictures, cutscenes and music. Oddly enough, the gallery already has its categories in English. Options. Here you can adjust various things. Since there's a lot of text, I'll keep it brief by using screenshots. And done, that's all. If I may request a few more seconds of your attention, I'd like to say two things. Number one, to have a degree of consistency in my uploads, every fifth video will be a gameplay one. That means I'll pop one out right after this one. Number two, I would like to thank that one cool person that subscribed. I didn't expect that anyone would. So thanks. That said, shirtlight signing out.
And yeah, I should probably get a proper outro screen at some point.